my name is Katherine Taylor. I'm a fiction writer and I teach short story and novel classes at WritingPad. One common question I get from my students is how do I find my voice? Here's the problem. They're trying to emulate the voice of their literary heroes, which is great and completely normal when we're first starting out. It's how we learn to find our voice, but eventually it will become something that holds you back when you're stifling your authentic voice. Here's the solution. Let me tell you a little story. After I published my first book, I really wanted to show my range as a writer. I wanted to show people how very versatile I was. And so I tried to stay as far away as I could from the voice in my first book. I spent four years working on a second novel. I handed it into my editor. She took me out to lunch and she said, I love this story. I love these characters. And I want you to throw out this entire thing. I understood instantly what was missing because I was trying to write in this serious, distant third person POV, this detached epic style, that's not me. I was squashing everything that was good about my voice, all the warmth, all the humor, I had squashed right out of it, trying to be ever so serious. She said to me, take a look at the writers you love the most. Take a look at the Hemingway and the Didion and the Chekhov, and you'll see they wrote in the same voice their entire careers. Their body of work is a body of work because it's a consistent voice. And surely when I went back to read, that's exactly how the greats operate. So the next day I spoke to my friend Elizabeth and she says, Catherine, you're so funny. Why don't you just use the voice that you use in your emails to me? She's someone who loves me, whom I completely trust, who really gets my work. And so I did exactly that. I wrote her an email the next day and I found the voice that was supposed to be the voice in the novel. So here is an exercise. Write an email to someone you feel totally comfortable with, someone who cares about you and who gets you, someone you trust. Tell them something specific that happened to you recently, something that you feel very invested in and have fun. If you're funny, then be hilarious, make them laugh. If you are emotional, then make them cry. If you like ghost stories, then really, really scare them. And keep this one person in mind as you write. Once you're done, read it. That's your voice. Keep that voice as you write your pages. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you in class.